Hello, and welcome to my WWE 2K22 match simulation of tonight's mixed tag match at Elimination Chamber. Starting with the Royal Rumble winner, the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Rhea Ripley. Of course, neither team probably has a tag team entrance in this game because it's outdated as all hell. But of course, 2K23 coming soon. So that won't be a, a problem soon enough. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, getting eyeballed for shouting yeah. That's going to be one of the most confusing experiences if Rhea Ripley glares at you at ringside. I'm not going to elaborate too much on that, but I think a lot of people watching know what I mean. <laughs> it would be part terrifying, put it that way. Now, let's get Rhea Ripley's Judgment Day tag partner out here for the match. Yep, that's the one. Thank you uh, to the things around the top of the arena that I forget what they're called. Finn Balor, the official leader of Judgment, the Judgment Day. I think pretty much everyone has accepted Rhea Ripley as the leader at this point now. The dynamic of that group has changed somewhat. But there's no friction being caused by it. It just is what it is. So yeah, there's, this is going to be an interesting match, I believe. Um, have we seen Balor and Ripley team up? I don't think we have in any official capacity. Like, obviously, they've been in a lot of segments together, maybe assisted each other in their matches and, and whatnot. But in terms of an official mixed tag match, I'm not sure we've seen this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Also, speaking of the comments, do let me know in the comments who you think will win this match. Um, you can let me know who you think is going to win in real life and in the game if you so wish. But I'm most interested in who you think is going to win in real life, uh, to be honest. If you want to know who I think is going to win in real life, uh, check the description after you're done with this video. Um, and follow the link to WWE Baser. That is where I do my predictions for shows such as Elimination Chamber and etc, etc. Plenty of content coming out today, the day of the show. Predictions over on WWE Base, so there's all the match simulations here. And there's also a New Japan show tonight. Don't know if you know about that. And, and I also do predictions and match simulations where possible for those. Anyway, enough about that and more about this. Their opponent, first Beth Phoenix. Wife of Edge Phoenix. But of course, no team entrance for them either in this game, unfortunately. But you know what? Just uh, allows everyone to get their moment in the spotlight during the entrance. Instead of having to share it with their pesky husband or wife, or in the case of the other team, tag team partner, stable mate. So one more competitor to get out here in this match. You do think you know me. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, and all others to not be exclusionary, on this day, he sees clearly. Although how he sees clearly with all that smoke, all that fog on the stage, I don't know. But a bunch. 
And Pyro. So yeah, Edge and Beth Phoenix against Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. The thing is, I know WWE isn't all about that in intergender like interaction. But if any two women on the WWE books at the moment can hold their own against men, it's probably Beth Phoenix and Rhea Ripley. So I think, you know, to the extent of the Rousey angle to play Stephanie match where you saw Rousey go after to play a bit. I think we could see some stuff like that in the real life version of this match. However, in the simulated version, we're not going to see any of that because the game is real strict on uh, intergender fighting to the point where I think it's pretty much just impossible to do. Um, anyway, I think maybe as a woman, you might be able to attack the, the men a little bit, but pretty sure you can't hit a finisher or anything like that. Anyway, we're starting off with Rhea Ripley and Beth Phoenix, so let's let's concentrate on that, shall we? Oh, and Beth is not going to be able to concentrate on much after Rhea just stuck her boot through Beth's head. Now Phoenix sends Ripley into the corner. Scoops her up. Into a Samoan drop position, a fireman's carry. Oh, a headbutt into the ribs, and then a kick to the boot. Hey! And it sends Rhea Ripley flying off that top rope, and then Beth Phoenix applies pressure to the arm. Some unique offense by Beth, and now Edge wants to go at Bala. So let's let them have it, shall we? Oh, there's a code breaker by Bala immediately in this one. Maybe tagging out was a mistake when you were in control there, Beth. Oh, the double foot stomp. Not quite the impact of a coup de grace, but still. Don't hurt. But then Edge with the Dragon Screw leg whip counter to the follow-up. So it's been quite back and forth since the men have been in this one. But yeah, I do feel like Beth Phoenix really had Rhea Ripley on the ropes, literally at one point. And uh, maybe should have maintained that pressure a little longer. Maybe they've come in with a, a game plan to make quick tags have the grit couple. But can't make a quick tag when you're out there, Edge. Can't park there, mate. Now Finn Balor taking a moment to wind up the WWE Universe, have a, have a bit of an argument with the fans, and also just to taunt Edge a little bit. Oh, but he allowed Edge to get back in the ring, and that might have been a mistake. Maybe should have followed up with some offense on the outside. Because now Edge is um, rolling. That's the word I was after. And now Edge tags in Beth Phoenix. Again, maybe the strategy is to make quick tags. But both times so far that a tag has been made, the person who tagged out has been in control and the person who tagged in has ended up taking quite a big move from their opponent. So, so far, that strategy not really paying off. But let's see if it does long term. That's what matters. Who wins the match? Oh, Beth signaling for the clothesline and she hits it in the corner. And Rhea Ripley is in trouble. She's been dominated overall, I would say, in this one by Beth Phoenix in their, their portions of the match. Now the men are back in, yet again, courtesy of the Grit Couple making a tag. And yet again, the tag does not favor the Grit Couple. You have to be willing to reassess your strategy if it's not working for you. Um, and uh, You know, of all people, Edge, the ultimate opportunist. You know, he's a thinking man's wrestler. He's always been a master strategist. And yet... Not adjusting the strategy just yet. Might be a mistake. Look at that shotgun drop kick in the corner. Finn Balor trying to pin Edge, trying to put him away. Two. Oh, Edge kicks out. Balor can't quite believe it. Now, Finn Balor. Uh-oh. We know what he's thinking here. Going up to the top rope. Oh, he went for the coup de grace, but Edge rolled out the way. But Finn Balor able to stay in control somewhat. But no, Edge with the lovely hip toss slash judo throw counter and now puts Finn Balor in the grit couple's corner keep him away from Rhea Ripley maybe they have now reassessed the strategy and we're trying to prevent a tag being made but Finn Balor oh he's going back up top again is he thinking coup de grace again already he is and he hits it on the second time of asking and now scurries into a pin one Two victory for Judgment Day? No! Rhea Ripley came into the ring to celebrate, I think. And then Edge kicked out. And now Finn Balor 
Hags out. For the first time, Judgment Day dictate the tag. And now both members of the Grit Couple on the outside. Edge trying to recuperate from that vicious coup de grace. Rhea Ripley throwing Beth Phoenix over the top rope. She's uh, quite, quite the expert at throwing other women over the top rope, is Rhea Ripley, in recent times, having just won a Royal Rumble from number one. Very impressive, very impressive. And now taking the fight to Beth Phoenix on the outside, but no, Beth picks the leg and Dragon Screw leg whip. And now Edge coming round, I assume just to get back into the corner. He's not going to risk a disqualification by attacking Rhea Ripley here. Does distract Rhea though and allows Beth to get back into the ring. Now Rhea has to roll in. Oh, but Beth Phoenix, what is she doing? Getting a bit too confident there, I think. And Rhea Ripley going to capitalise, no problem. Now look at this flexibility from Mammy Ripley with the uh, choke with the boot in the corner. And now look at this, just stomping away on Beth Phoenix. Right hand, went for a left body blow. Beth caught it, hits a headbutt. Oh, but look at this. Double-handed choke slam by Rhea Ripley, showing off that immense strength that she has. And now another Judgment Day tag. Tags in Finn Balor and Edge has to come in. But for the, what, fourth time out of five tags made, the team making the tag come out of it worse. Both teams struggling with the strategy in this one. Not struggling with the physicality, though. They are going at it. Look at Edge just stomping away at Finn Balor relentlessly. And, uh, letting Finn Balor know he thinks he's number one, or maybe number two, because there was two of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We know what this is. This is Vintage Edge, and now Rhea Ripley, oh, coming, breaking up the submission. Do you call it the Educator? I'm trying to remember what he calls it. Something like that, isn't it? One, two. Oh, Finn Balor kicks out, but the big story was Rhea Ripley saving him from that submission attempt, I would say. And now Beth Phoenix tagged in. Again, when Finn Balor was in a lot of trouble, let's see if this one pays off. Nope. Absolutely not. There's a Riptide, and there's the match, I think. One, two. Oh, Edge distracts the referee and distracts Rhea Ripley, who lets go of the pin as the referee stopped counting. That might have been it for Beth Phoenix there, but Edge saves his wife from defeat. Now, Rhea Ripley with the submission attempt of her own, and again, Edge getting in the face of Rhea Ripley. I'm surprised she hasn't lashed out at him just yet, if I'm honest. But instead, she's like, hey, watch me batter your wife some more if you want to extend the match. I'm just going to keep beating up your wife. But no. Re Beth Phoenix fighting back. But Edge, choosing to stay in the ring and take the disqualification. Kind of like the I quit match where he quit purely to save his wife. I mean, Beth Phoenix was in control of the match at, at that point. But Edge choosing to get disqualified there, seemingly intentionally, because he didn't want to see his wife get beaten up anymore. That's a really interesting finish to the match. Um, not one that would be popular, especially in... Edge's home country of Canada. But that's what happened. Let me know what you think of that result in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this match and subscribe if you're new here. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.